Hi, my name is Tony Shen. Welcome to OnlineVCEDU.com. Today, we look at the negative ranking factors, those SEO characteristics are related with the lower rankings. Since the negative on-page SEO factors are under your control, try to avoid them if you wish to have a good ranking. Not being mobile friendly. I have stressed this already multiple times to you. I think now you know the mobile is important. Having responsive design is also important. But again, if you are not incorporating this yet, I want to stress that one more time. It is going to harm your rankings. It's a negative factor. You need to focus on responsive web design. Search engine plays a huge importance over making experience better for their visitors. Your site should resize and adjust to fit any screen size. Drag the corner of the web browser window on your computer and you will see a resize right before your eyes. Look your website on your mobile phones and the tablets to see how it looks, how people are interacting with your content. Using Google's Page Fit Insights tool to check for page fit. Review errors that you can fix. So errors related to your content that you can improve upon. Ensure your images are sized appropriately as well. You don't have oversized images. It's going to slow to load on mobile devices and on your website. So it's actually to help you to make a website as well. Spelling and grammar issues. We touched on that when we are talking about the quality content within your on-page SEO. But search engines really want a quality experience for the users as it pointed out. I sound like a broken record when I say that over and over again. That is because it is true. If you are going to optimize your site for users, you are going to win with the search engines. Optimize, meaning you are going to do everything you can with quality content, a good user experience, mobile friendly, spelling and grammar issues, all those factors you want to have in place. So it's a good experience for your users. Content that is poorly written with grammar issues will cause a quick bounce and hurt your site's credibility. Poorly written content is going to cause a decrease in size conversion because people are going to lose respect for you. There's a saying, oh, he cannot spell his material correctly. How is his ebook going to be quality? How is this free report even going to be good? Or his newsletter? Think of your users when creating your content. If you outsource your content, ensure it is edited before you posted it. That means if they do have a spelling error, have them fix it. Or if they are constantly making errors, maybe find new writers. Or before you posted it, just reviewing yourself. Make sure it is up to your standards. Make sure it's a good article. Strive for well-written and unique content all the time, and you will be just fine. Read ability issues. Content that is difficult to read also negatively impact to you. Beyond just the spelling and the grammar problems, read ability is how people will read your content. We touched on this as well. Avoid using long blocks of content, like 8 to 10 sentences per paragraph, or an entire page of content with no paragraphs, line breaks, headlines. Instead, break up your content to short and easy to understand paragraphs, maybe two to three sentences. This makes it very easy on the eyes. People are going to want to stay around and read. If you enjoyed this educational training, Keep up with all of our newly videos by clicking the subscriber button below. Also, go to www.onlinebizedu.com for more online marketing news and tips. See you next time.